Hi everyone, Nikki Livingston here. Uh, welcome to my first vlog. Uh, for those who follow my blog, this is just an update on where I'm at with my health issues. Uh, those who have not read my blog, you should go read it. I'll put the link down below. And otherwise, I'm still going to give a little bit of history here, kind of get everyone updated. Uh, I do want to keep this documented, my, the, my whole journey down this fun road. So back in 2006, nearly 14 years ago for me, I had breast implants put in. They were put under the, under the muscle, saline filled but silicone shelled. Uh, almost immediately, well first off I had blood clots a few days after the surgery and it was admitted to the hospital for four days. During my four day stay, I was put on heparin to thin my blood and then afterward I was put on Coumadin. So I attribute some of these things that happened to the Coumadin, but even those things, start, can't, those symptoms came back later on. So almost immediately after I got, I started having panic attacks, my anxiety that I had before became severe. Uh, I had heart palpitations and chest pain, tingling and numbness in my hands, my face, my neck, and my chest. Um, shortness of breath, I mean that comes with, with uh, blood clots, but this was different. I did go back to the hospital, or back to my doctor, and she did run more tests. I didn't have blood clots, so she put me on Xanax, which is a whole other <laughs> thing in itself. I didn't, I was on that for, I can't remember exactly, but I just took myself off because I didn't. It didn't make me feel good. Um, but that's a whole other story. So, 2007, I end up going to a cardiologist for the chest pain, the heart palpitations, the numbness, um, and everything was fine. Uh, he did a number of tests on me, and my heart came back perfectly healthy. My doctor sent me to a physical therapist, she sent me to a chiropractor, and then eventually she sent me to a neurologist as well. And everything as well, as well came back normal. Uh, all my blood work came back normal. Um, during that time I also got pregnant and had my son. Uh, then, I mean just a, a number of things happened. You know, I had my, my son in 2009 and uh, my mom died. Uh, six weeks later and then my dad six months later had he fell down the stairs and had a brain injury um, and so that was 2010 and then about that time I started really focusing on my health uh, the other things that did show up right away is inflammation and weight gain so I had this weight gain that I had never experienced before and about 2010, shortly, well, it was probably about four or five months after my dad had his injury, I started really working out hard, um, and then I would do running, and I would, uh, because I couldn't ever really get a full breath, I could only run for a couple minutes, and then I'd have to walk, and then I'd go running again, and then I'd walk, but it worked. It worked for me, and I actually lost quite a bit of weight. Um, the inflammation didn't quite go away, but... Um, most of the weight did. Then, you know, not only that, in, in 2011, early 2011, I gave up soda and processed food, and that's when I really, like the weight really came off, and I felt really good. You know, I still had the heart palpitations here and there. Um, those kind of went away too. They weren't often enough for me to ever think about. Uh, I still had a little bit of inflammation. I still had like the chest pain and the panic attacks. So all those things continue to stay. Uh, but in 2013, 2014, I started noticing little things coming in, plaguing me. Um, the heart palpitations came back. And I, I actually am going to read off this list so I can get it right. Um, brain fog. Uh, brain fog became a huge thing. Like I, I just, I feel like my brain is swimming sometimes. Uh, nausea, uh, constantly, almost every day. Numbness in my hands, face and neck, chest. 
uh, headaches, difficulty swallowing, difficulty breathing. Sometimes I get a menthol filling in my face, throat, nose, uh, metallic taste in my mouth almost, almost every day. Uh, inflammation in face, hands, feet. Uh, I actually started to get it in my ankles as well just recently. Uh, pain in chest, itchiness and pain under my implants, especially my left side and the surgeon that I just did go to uh, about a month and a half ago, he did verify that I have a lot of scar tissue on my left side. So I get a lot of pain under both, but mostly my left side. Uh, rapid heart rate, just a sudden increase in my heart rate comes out of nowhere. I can be just sitting there reading a book and all of a sudden my heart rate will just shoot through the roof. The roof. <laughs> uh, the anxiety, the panic attacks, uh, runny nose, sinus infections. I never had them before. Ever. Never once in my life until I had implants. Um, I was diagnosed with um, sports-induced asthma a few years back. Um, I noticed that after I was prescribed some albuterol for a cold, that I could take better, a better deep breath. And so my doctor diagnosed me with sports-induced asthma. So I do take albuterol when I go jogging or even walking. It helps me breathe better. Um, difficulty getting the full breath, exhaustion, TMJ, neck, shoulder, and back pain, uh, dry skin, hair, eyes, uh, hairs falling out and thinning, eye pain, palpitations I talked about, joint pain. So those are many of the symptoms I have and mostly I wanted to get on today because I'm having a really bad day <laughs> in the sense that I feel really sick and not every day is like this. Today is probably one of the worst ones that I've had in a while. Um, I woke up completely exhausted, dragged myself out of bed, had to get to work, and just the exhaustion is just, it's so bad, it's, I can feel it down in my bones. You know, the joint pain, the, the muscle pain, I just, I hurt all over from my toes all the way to my head. My, I have my head's pounding, I have nausea, my hands are numb, my face neck and, and chest are numb and tingly. I've had a, a difficult time swallowing today and breathing, just getting that full breath. Um, my eyes burn, they hurt, and um, you know, it's just eye pain. Um, those are some of my biggest things that I'm having today. I have inflammation. I look at myself like right now and I'm like, that, that's not even me. This space is not even me. I can fit, see it in my face. I can see it in my hands, my, my stomach, my feet. Um, I can see it all over. And I look at myself and I think every once in a while I'll, the inflammation will go away. And I'm like, oh my God, there I am. And it's like Hook. It's like a, a Robin Williams on Hook. So I'm hoping that I will have a similar story to many other women when I get these implants out, that I will lose the inflammation, I will lose the weight that I have put on, um, you know, the chest pain, I'll be able to get a full breath, um, the numbness in my hands, the, you know, inflammation, the tingling, everything will, will go away. So I invite you to follow along with my journey and, you know, hopefully not have too much judgment against my poor choices. But if I can be a light to other someone else, if I can be bring awareness to someone else, that this is completely worth it. I will update you as I go. I have two more consultations in November. And once I meet with those surgeons, I will decide who I will have do the surgery and then schedule it as well. Uh, from there, I, yeah, I'll just continuously update you. And then after the surgery, hopefully you'll see a change in me. You'll notice something. I'm hoping that things will feel better and I won't hurt so bad and I won't be exhausted. So until then, until next time, I'm sending you all lots of peace, love, and high vibes.